right unloading loading the truck it's always a good time for a little talk this is gonna be a little bit of a rant video maybe you guys can also rant in the comments below any dead animals in here yeah, it happens my truck's been sitting for a while I see one was back there at one point right back there but kept running in and out of some rabbit was up here. I don't know how the hell a rabbit gets up in there. I haven't run my truck in a while. I've been using the car. Driving all over the place doing paint uh, ATM surrounds. I've been doing that for a while. That's all over. But anyway, I'll tell you guys about what's been happening. And this is the frustration today, which is labor. You know, it used to be years ago, I could find a guy that would want to work and pay him a fair amount of wage and they were happy and, you know, you could, there's tons of guys out there, you know, it was like, and it's become slimmer and slimmer and slimmer in this state in California. I don't know if it's, it's like this where you're at, but, you know, there's just less and less people that want to work and the, the pickings are slim. You know, you're getting to the point where you go and you, I remember I was at the paint store a while back, guy was there and he says, hey, oh yeah, I'm looking for work. I'm like, well, okay, what, what, what can you do? You know, I can paint, you know, and everything I can find. Well, can I tell you what, let me ask you this. How much you want a day? Oh, I want 300 a day. Oh, well, that's a lot, but what can you do? I have no problem paying a guy if he's worth it. Okay, so okay, a two-story house. It's all masked off, ready, spray only. Can you paint the whole house, uh, all the all the stucco in one day? Any painter that's a worth of crap should be able to spray an entire regular 2,500 two-story house in one day if he wants 300 bucks. You know, that would be a profitable amount that I could actually make a few dollars on. Not making much. I'm not sharing the job with them, but I'm not, you know, making a ton of money. He says, oh, no, I couldn't do that. It'd take me two days. I'm like, dude, so what? Do you want me just to split the jobs with you? What, what do you think? I'm just going to go out and bid stuff and then give you half when you're not even going out and bidding it? No, I can't, dude, I can't pay you. I can't hire you. And the guy goes, oh, oh, well, this other guy hires me. I, go, well, I don't know what the other guy's doing, but I sure, sure couldn't make any money on you doing that. So anymore, I just go out and work by myself again, like I used to years ago, and, uh, you know, make pretty good money. But, you know, it's just crazy you know, all these kids today all want, they don't want to work. They don't want to make, you know, they don't want to do anything other than sit behind a computer. Let's throw all these all away. Uh, just sit behind a computer and, you know, get paid. And they don't even want to, the guys that do that, they don't even want to produce anything. And they don't think about what it takes to, to make money and you know profit margins and all that stuff they just think about oh i need this pay me this much you know it it's just been lost the whole this whole business has become just you know it's it's just it's just going to, to crap little by little the only guys i can find that want to work are either drug addicts or they're, uh, they don't speak the language, you know, I don't, I'm just saying there's a lot of different languages, and they don't speak English, okay, well enough for me to understand them, and them to understand me to do their job, so I can't hire that guy, okay, because I need to be able to communicate with them, and I'm not saying it's all Hispanics, I'm not a racist, it doesn't matter what the color your skin is, it matters whether you can speak the language and do the job. Two things. That's it. 
The other problem you get, you get a guy, they all want cash. You can't put him on payroll because he goes, oh, well, I got child support problems. Or they just flat out want more money than they're worth. Flat out. You couldn't even bid the job. I could bid the job and tell them to go do it. And by the time I got done, collected the money, went to the customer, got everything, I'd just be paying the customer back two or three hundred dollars for doing the job. That's about the way it is. So my question is, how the heck do you fix this? Raise the prices? Tell the customer more money? I've already done that. Up so high now, you know, ten thousand. $11,000, $12,000 a paint a house. I can just see what's going to happen in the near future. There's going to be just houses peeling everywhere. And nobody's going to be able to get them done. They're going to be out there by themselves painting it. Homeowners, you know, and stuff like that. Grabbing guys from Home Depot. And even in that, you know, I don't even know what the Home Depot guy rate is. I don't go there. But last time... I looked into it, and I don't really, again, I don't hire guys like that. They got to be legal to work here. That's the other issue. You know, I got to be able to put them on a payroll because I, I pay taxes, okay? I'm not like some of the guys doing this. Because in California, I can't just pay 1099s. You got to pay everybody through payroll. That's the way they require it to be done. I mean, I can just see in this state in the next five or ten years that you're just you're not going to be able to find a painter it's going to be some guy that just doesn't even work legally doesn't have a contractor's license doesn't have anything and just you know will be willing to work for you or whatever and make his 300 400 a day that isn't even worth it you know and he's going you're going to pay in seven eight thousand dollars to paint your regular single single two-story house or whatever you know price of paint price of labor and then what if the guy falls off your roof you know then you're liable for that guy and all that stuff it's just it's just gotten stupid what's happening anyway you know i'm still working i mean still playing around with painting not much i'm not doing that's why i'm not doing money houses that's why i'm not putting up many videos you know since the pandemic it's even gotten worse so, I still get out there and hustle myself. I got a house to paint coming up. So maybe I'll film some of it. I don't know. If the customer lets me. It all just depends. You know, I can't film every job I do. That's for sure. I can't go out, you know, and start filming some of the stuff that I'm doing commercial jobs where I'm doing that branding up. They'll just demonetize them and make it a big waste of time for me, so can't do that much but i'm still you know i'll still talk to you guys about stuff here and there what's happening but anyway that's the kind of maybe you guys could comment what's happening where you're at i know guys are from all over the place to watch the youtube channel you guys are you know anywhere from florida all the way up to the the great white north a couple of you guys are in the uk and in uh, Australia, and honestly, I have no idea what things are like there. So, anyway, here in California, it's a ship show. Part of the reason that they've that this has happened, and since I think 2015, they've been raising minimum wage every year, and they had a goal to hit $15 an hour. And honestly, nobody ever looked at you know cost of living and raising you know costs and prices to figure out minimum wage minimum wage should be figured out based on profitability of companies and stuff like that not oh we just need more money so let's raise minimum wage up so high that companies can't pay it you know who won on that i'll tell you exactly who won it was the state of california won why because they get the payroll taxes on that higher amount of money everybody's rent went up everybody's costs went up because now if you got to pay everybody higher rate wages all it did was just create immediate inflation did nothing for the lower class person nothing but the middle class guy got totally screwed because now his rent went up 
his food prices went up. Everybody, everything, all of his expenses went up, but his wage didn't go up at all. Or maybe it just went up a little tiny bit. And the guy in the bottom, his wage went up way up, okay? And it just went straight to nothing. It went to rent and everything else. And who won? Who won this? You know who won? State of California. Why? Because now their minimum paycheck is based on a higher number. Let me just give you an example. Let's say you were getting $100 a month taken out of your check because you were making $10 an hour. And now you get $150 a month taken out of your check and they get their portion of that. That's what happened. That's who got rich. The state. The people. And what are they doing with the money? Finagling it around. Going and getting some bid for something. Oh yeah, oh buddy, hey, check this out. I'll give you the prices that I got on this. Yeah? All right. So so you know to build this bridge, you know, the, we're looking at fit 14 million. He's like, I can't even do it for 14 money. What the hell? Okay, if you bid it for 139, you'll get the job. And then once you get the job, we'll just let you change order it up to whatever you need it to be. Oh wow, dude, I need like 35 or 40 million for that. Oh, well, that's all right. If we'll just get you in, you know. And then, by the way, I just need a little bit of money in my campaign, which gets funneled to my friend's corporation, and then I get it back. I'm not going to tell you that, but that's how it happens. And then all of a sudden, you know, I end up with that money in my pocket. That's why I got a 40,000 square foot home. Okay, that's what's happening with the money, guys. You want to keep contributing this? Keep voting on the left. That's what's happening. Anyway, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.